ülkenin de terör örgütlerine karşı Neither country has an open, clear stance against terror organizations. Besides, throughout this process, even if they say they are against terror organizations, on the contrary, they have statements saying that they would not deport certain terrorists. Even if they say they are going to deport them, we believe, once bitten, twice shy. Well, let's get some analysis now with Professor Giray Sadek, the director of the European Studies Research Centre at Ankara Yildirim Bayezid University. He joins us now from Ankara. Welcome back to the program, Professor. We heard there President Erdogan make his latest comments as to his concerns surrounding uh, Finland and Sweden's bids to join NATO. Those countries haven't uh, condemned the PKK uh, group as a terror organization as the United States and e European Union have. Why is it, do you think, that those countries uh, are still refusing uh, to designate uh, the PKK as a terrorist organization? Um, well, in terms of uh, designation uh, about PKK, there is uh, not much of a problem. The question is, uh, in northern Syria, uh, that their affiliates uh, such as YPG, PYD, SDG, and related organizations with PKK and their uh, uh, being supported uh, by by those countries, as our president alluded to. Uh, as a matter of fact, this looks like the tip of the iceberg. This should be also considered as a timely warning to all NATO allies uh, who are um, uh, who have similar problems as those. Uh, those military alliances are about security, and at the very least. Uh, it is the right of the alliance members, uh, like Turkey, to expect that uh, the existing allies and the potential uh, new allies not to work against uh, Turkish security and uh, to work in support of that. Uh, and that means, in practice, not supporting uh, the groups considered terrorist by Turkey. Yes, uh, in his latest comments, uh, the Turkish president also pointed to the fact that uh, Turkey is uh, one of the key members of the NATO alliance with one of uh, the biggest forces in NATO, in fact, behind the United States. He also pointed to the fact that Western nations, which include NATO allies, uh, have been very quick to uh, urge Turkey to accept uh, millions of Syrian refugees, for example, but they still haven't been able to uh, support Turkey. Turkey's views in condemning uh, suspected terrorists uh, that are in countries like Sweden and Germany. Can you explain to us what would be a likely compromise that uh, those NATO allies could do that could perhaps allay uh, President Erdogan's concerns over NATO's enlargement? Well, uh, as recent uh, remarks by uh, NATO Secretary General uh, Stoltenberg, Turkey is indeed an important NATO ally. Uh, we see a clear appreciation of that uh, also in the United States. And recent visit of uh, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu, in New York, uh, we need to also consider uh, his uh, negotiations with his uh, Swedish and uh, Finnish counterparts uh, in terms of uh, not only the importance of Turkey, which is uh, very well known in uh, NATO circles, but also uh, in terms of addressing uh, Turkish concerns uh, that are uh, also important and recognized by NATO Secretary General. And let's see uh, how those will be addressed by potential candidate members. As our president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, uh, underlined, uh, without those concerns, being uh, addressed uh, properly by uh, these candidate countries uh, moving forward looks unlikely. Okay, Professor Giray Sadek, we will have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your analysis. Thank you again for joining us.